Hi, welcome to Your Future, Your Finances. Today we're talking with Ron Soroka, CEO of Evolve Consulting Group, uh, regarding health insurance. Very important topic affecting a lot of people uh, watching out there. Uh, thanks for watching. Ron, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Brian. All right. uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about your background and the company. Okay, my background, I'm an attorney by trade. Uh, however, I've been in the health insurance landscape for about six years. And in Evolve Consulting, we do employee benefits and consulting for companies in the Mid-Atlantic area that have national and international presence. Okay. So it's quite an interesting landscape these days. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. So the landscape for health insurance companies and people, they need it, um, but how they get it has changed. What is, what's going on? Yeah, the landscape is incredibly dynamic. I mean, you've got the basics of just understanding your plan. I mean, and generally you'll categorize them into an HMO, a point-of-service plan, and a PPO plan. And mm -hmm. generally what that means as an HMO, you're only seeing that insurance carrier's providers. Otherwise, you have no coverage. A point-of-service, if you want to see somebody outside of the insurance carrier's scope of doctors, then you have the limited level of coverage. And a PPO generally it is the largest network that insurance carrier provides, and then also you can use out-of-area providers. Within the actual insurance policies, then you have a multitude of players. So you've got your insurance companies, you've got your doctors, you've got your hospitals, you've got the patients, and you also have employers who are wedged in there as well. And every single one of them are going through a massive amount of changes. Yeah. And some good, some bad, but all very complicated. So a lot is falling on to the patient. Mm -hmm. And the insurance companies, they have so many changes to deal with and they just have to relay them on to the patients. The hospitals are growing. Mm -hmm. They're getting leverage against insurance companies, so it's different dealing with things there. And doctors, you think, hey, doctors are smart. They're generally very good at practicing medicine, but very bad at paperwork and insurance <laughs> processing. Mm -hmm. So don't assume your doctor's ever going to do it right. Mm -hmm. They've got a quite a bit of handful uh, my father's a physician, so I hear it all the time. Every time we're together, he's complaining about the insurance companies. Who, that's generally who I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. I see it all. Mm -hmm. So if somebody needs insurance, health insurance, what do they do and, and where do they go? So you're generally going to get it from three places. You're either going to purchase it through your employer. You're going to purchase it individually, which you can either go on to an exchange, which you hear a lot about, or you can just purchase directly through the insurance company. And then also the government's in the game as well. So Medicaid and Medicare. Medicare, generally, it's age eligibility. And Medicaid, if you're under 133% of the federal poverty level, then you can generally get that as well. And that's going to be cost-free. Mm -hmm. The Medicare, sometimes there's some skin in the game. From the employer perspective, there are some advantages purchasing through your employer, and one of them being you can buy it on a tax advantage basis. So you pay for it before you pay taxes out of your paycheck. That's a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. And often that'll come with some level of employer funding. So you get pre-tax and also you have employer funding. It can often make it much less expensive. Mm -hmm. Then from the individual perspective, if you are not offered something from your employer or if you're offered something but it doesn't meet certain affordability requirements, you may be eligible for a subsidy. And if you're going to be able to get a subsidy, you have to purchase from these exchanges. Mm. Each state has a different one. The state or the federal government will be running that specific exchange. Very complicated, very tedious process. If you're purchasing individually, try to find a professional to help you. It's complicated, and the insurance carriers spend very little time and a very little amount of resources devoted to this mm. and it is an absolute disaster. We generally don't deal with individual. We have people we refer it out to because it's so time consuming, so complicated. Mm. We focus generally on the employer market and help make sure that their employees don't want to go to the individual market, that they have a good plan in place. Mm -hmm. now, a lot of the features and subsidies and so forth that you're talking about, as I understand it, are the, the result of the Affordable Care Act or, or Obamacare. Those are the same thing, uh, correct? Yes. So, and that's uh, so you have employers who need to go get insurance for their employees, but then you have the Affordable Care Act. So how are those working together? Yeah, so I, I don't know if I'd necessarily say they're working together, but they <laughs> are together. It's, it is quite a mixed bag. So the employers are having to deal with a ton of new mandates. So they, depending on the size of the employer and the market and in the geography that they're in, there are different options available for them, but all of them have changed. There are less options available to the employer 
as far as the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare or however people would like to frame it, whatever you want to call it, it, is, it, it has issued many changes. So if your employer has under 50 employees, how the rating is done, how everything is priced is completely different. It's not exactly 100% certain how each employer can do it and will do the funding for the employees. So sometimes you're ending up with different employees paying different amount for the same exact insurance level. Wow. And it's not because the employer wants to do it. It's because there's a very set, very finite set of regulations that they have to deal with. And if they don't, they will have big problems. Hmm. So a lot of times the employees say, hey, why is this happening to me? What's really happening is it's happened to your employer. Your employer is just trying to deal and react with what they're given because there's not much leeway in these regulations. Mm -hmm. So it has gotten increasingly complicated, much more difficult to navigate from the employer's perspective and from the employee's perspective. So it is just a very complicated landscape. You said the word mandate. That's another term for a rule, right, essentially? Yes. Okay. They're just calling them mandates. Exactly. Okay. So th there are a lot of rules that have trickled down, and one of them being that individuals must have health insurance or they will be penalized. So you're going to need to purchase it through your employer, purchase it individually, get it through the government, or there are a very limited and complicated set of exceptions that will allow you to not have to purchase insurance. And mm -hmm. it can be 2% of your income, you know, and if you have a family, it can be thousands of dollars. Yeah. So it's very important to follow this. Absolutely. We're going to take a break. We're talking to the CEO of Evolve Consulting Group, Ron Soroka. Uh, we'll take a break, and we'll talk more about health insurance, using the plan, saving money, a variety of other topics. You're watching Your Future, Your Finances. I'm Brian Kuhn. We'll be right back.